Egypt qualified from CAF's five group final qualification stage, topping their group and only losing at home to Uganda. They were Africa's first ever qualifiers for a World Cup back in 1934, but they didn't qualify for the competition again until 1990, both times hosted in Italy. Mohamed Salah, the Premier League's Golden Boot winner and the FWA's Player of the Year and the PFA's Player's Player of the Year, topped the scoring for Egypt in qualification with five goals. Egypt, with Hector Kupere in the dugout, are a solid 4-2-3-1 team who deploy two defensive midfielders, Mohamed Elneny and Tarek Hemet, ahead of a tough pair of centre-backs including West Brom's Ahmed Tagazi. Elneny has licence to get forwards and support the number 10, usually Abdallah Saeed, falling back into a 4-4-2, with Saeed pushing up alongside the striker in the mid-block. The aim is, unsurprisingly, to get the ball to Salah, but this team is far from a one-man band. Braga's Ahmed Hassan Kuka is a rangy forward who can bring his teammates into the game with flick-ons and layoffs, while Stokes' Ramadan Sobi poses a threat cutting in from the left wing. But Salah is, quite clearly, Egypt's danger, and his pace, trickery and movement will all pose a threat to any side in the competition. Watch out too for goalkeeper and captain Essam El Hadari, who could become the World Cup's oldest ever player. Egypt's blend of steel and guile should see them through the group as long as Salah stays fit. You like it like that. Like like I wear designer, check the name on the tag. White fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a